Hey everyone, this is Natalie with Keeper Co. And this week we're going to be showing you how to use direct-to-film transfers, also known as DTF, with print-on-demand. Now the gist of print-on-demand is that instead of having to carry a bunch of inventory in-house and go through the printing process every time you have to fulfill an order, you can just print everything one time and then you're done. Thus, saving time, energy, and supplies. So, without further ado, let's get started. The film that we're using today is 11.75 inches in height by 8.25 inches in width. So we're just measuring that to make sure that we are able to utilize our entire print space as best as possible. And then we're just gonna measure the t-shirt platen itself to find the center and then marking that with some tape so that we can align the film with the center of the platen itself and therefore make sure our print is lined up properly. And then we're just gonna tape down the film, making sure that the glossy side is down and the matte side is facing up. Now when it comes to making the artwork itself, we wanna put as many as we can onto our print space and then put that into Garment Creator. And then we have light color t-shirt settings with level three print quality and unidirection print direction. And then line it up at the top center and you're all set. Now once we've sent the first layer of our artwork, which is the CMYK layer, through the printer, it's going to come out and then we're just going to let it dry for a few seconds while we switch up the settings. The only thing you're going to change is changing it to a dark colored t-shirt, the white version of it, nothing else, and then send it back on through. Now we're just going to use the leftovers from our last project that we printed and pour those right over the print, making sure that all of them are covered in the powder and then we're just going to sift it around until every print is completely covered. Just going to show you a quick little tip here. We have a cotton swab with tape wrapped around the end and we're just going to dab it across the film to pick up any excess of the adhesive powder just to make sure that the prints are super super clean so that when we cut them out to put them on the shirt we don't have any excess powder around the print. Now to cure the adhesive powder onto the prints, we're just going to lay it onto our heat press with the heat press top plate hovered right above it for about three minutes to let the adhesive powder completely dry down. Now once our prints are fully cured, we're just going to cut out each individual design and pull out the one that we're going to be using today and then just store the rest for later. That way whenever you get an order that requires this design, all you have to do is take it out, put it onto the apparel, press it on, and then you're done. Thus saving time, money, and supplies because the printing process has already been done and it's just a quick little heat press, transfer, and then you're all set. Now as shown in our previous video, in order to actually put the transfer onto the apparel, we're just putting the apparel right onto the heat press as normal, placing the transfer where we want it to go, in this case it's a left chest print, pressing it for 30 seconds before taking it off of the heat press, and letting that design cool down for just a minute before peeling the film off in one single motion. friends thanks for watching and make sure you stay tuned in the upcoming weeks for even more DTF content. I know personally that DTF is one of my favorite ways to decorate apparel so if you feel the same way or if you just want to know more about it make sure you subscribe and then head over to our Instagram at keyprintco to see all the fun stuff that we print here every single day and we'll see you next time.